Why are my dog itching and scratching? What to do about your dog's skin problem? How can you help your dog with allergies? Let's find out. You are watching for the dog channel. Now is the best time to post a link to this channel or this episode so that many other dog people can see this information too. Most dog will unavailably encounter itching at some point. It will be annoying for your pet, but not severe in most cases. However, some conditions do need to be seen by a vet and will require treatment to prevent them from becoming worse. Let's talk about the causes, symptoms and treatment of dog skin problems. There are several reasons your dog may start to scratch, lick or bite at their few. Some of the more common ones include parasite bites. Bites from fleas and mice are among the most common sources of itching in dogs and one of the easiest to, to take care of. Your veterinarian will be able to prescribe medication to resolve your dog's parasite issue. You can also proactively give your dog medication to avoid fleas, mice or ticks uh, in the first place. Next one, environmental dermatitis. This uncomfortable skin irritation develops due to contact with certain substances such as grass, dirt or plants. Symptoms include itchy, dry or cracked skin, rashes, blister, redness or swelling. Suggested way to elevate this condition include antihistamines or oatmeal baths. Depending on the severity, your way may recommend a cortisone cream or other alternative. Next one, nutritional dermatitis. Food allergies in dogs aren't prevalent. However, it's possible that your mate could be allergic to something in their food. Typically, nutritional dermatitis results in skin irritation and scratching, but digestive issues such as diarrhea or vomiting may happen. If your dog is displaying other symptoms, it's better to avoid kibble in their diet. A high level of carbohydrates and stretch affect clogging in intestines and prevents the absorption of elements. It's hazardous and unreasonable to put the proper nutrition on any industrial manufacturer. The healthiest diet for a dog with minor al food allergies is uh, raw meat, of course, organs and raw bones. And no matter how much your wet or food manufacturer tell you about supposed omnivoreness of dogs, it's not true. Dogs are carnivores and nothing in their digestive system has changed since a human domesticated them. Food allergies often manifest as leaky eyes in dogs. Tear leave dark paths from the eyes and you can tell right away from these dogs that they are not being fed properly. Cookies from the table, store-bought treats, bread, leftovers from your plate and purchases, dry food and canned food can uh, all cause your dog's eye to leak. Next one, skin allergies. Some dog breads are prone to develop allergies due to bread selection. Unscrupulous breeders bred dogs with allergies, which leads to allergies in puppies. If both parents are prone to allergies, this trait will take hold in the pup. Allergens uh, that cause itching can be found in pollen, dander, plants or insects, among other things. Aside from itching, some symptoms include excessive grooming or licking, watery eyes and sneezing, retching and inflamed skin. Your vet may be able to diagnose what is causing the allergy and recommend treatment and way to prevent further allergic reactions. Next one, hives. Another type of allergic reaction is hives. Hives can be a reaction to many things, from bites or medication. Symptoms show a raised bump that would cause the dog's fur to stick out. Occasion occasionally, hives will present with swelling near the eyes. Using a hypoallergic shampoo for dogs will usually elevate uh, the condition. A hydrating leave-in leave conditioner may also help. An emergency cases. If your dog's itching persists for more than a few days, you should make an appointment so your vet can diagnose the issue and treat it. Prolonged itchiness can lead to excessive scratching and biting at the location, creating a self-infected injury. This can become serious if left unchecked. So, how can you help your dog with allergies? The first step here is to avoid all allergic irritants. If your dog has a nutritional allergy, switch your dog's diet to natural raw meat uh, that he won't be allergic to. Turkey, rabbit, nutria meat. If the allergy are seasonal and the dog is reaching to pollen or bloom, 
an indoor air purifier will be good to help. Uh, you can also change your dog's walking hours very early in the morning and after sunset in the evening. This, uh, the flowers don't smell as active during this period and the irritation won't be as widespread. In modern air conditioners, there are an option of plasma filter. This is when the air passing through this filter released ozone. Ozone kills allergen, dust, bacteria and viruses. This purchase of the plasma filter will benefit your dog and you personally. If your dog has seasonal allergies, his nose can become dry and air washer and humifier can help. If the dog has allergies of unknown nature, the owner can first change detergents and laundry detergents for organic clothes. The other can first change detergents and laundry since ordinary chemicals may contain irritants that cause allergies in dogs. They are susceptible to odors and they are react in a much more faster way than humans. Avoid using perfumes, lotions and air fresheners to help your dog cope with the manifestation of allergies. It's better to not swim the dog in the river to prevent skin allergies. Also, don't forget to dry your dog's coat completely. This will help prevent further itching and combing. In white dogs, the cheeks and paws of a groin area can turn brown. This is caused by a fungus that form in a wet environment. A pollutant environment is also a factor in allergies in dogs. In housed fumes, smoke and other pollutants negatively affect the animal's liver and can have manifestation on the skin and mucosa of the animal. Regularly treating of the dog for worms will also help with the manifestation of allergies. Treatment once every two or three months in summer could be enough to keep your dog free of worms. Inspect your pet's fur after a walk for lice, ticks and uh, mites so you can spot them in as early as possible. That was all the advices for today. Now you know that causes uh, allergies problems, skin problems and why your dog might be scratching himself. This is the first step to becoming a more uh, competent, uh, more knowledgeable dog owner. So if this episode was helpful, feel free to support my channel. Link to Patriot is posted in the description as usual. See you next week, guys. Bye.